Hello, you wonderful gamers. It's Xander from Astragon here, and today we're announcing that Astragon has informally teamed up with both Unity and Apple to take down the Titanium Moth Bug once and for all. The Titanium Moth Bug has affected iOS and tvOS games and their developers, including yours truly at Astragon, worldwide since summer 2018. It's known to incorrectly quadruple Unity's memory footprint on iOS and tvOS devices, causing games there to hit memory limits and crash when they otherwise would have worked. Vast would run on Apple TV 4 at launch in December 2017 with 4K texture assets. Since the Titanium Moth bug, we've had to lower our textures to mostly 128 by 128 like we're developing an N64 game from 1996. Surprisingly, all of that is barely noticeable on iPhone's handheld screen, even at iPhone Plus size, but can be seen on Apple TV especially with 4K UHD TVs. While we worked around this bug and still have a full playable game available today, many other developers are still affected, unable to ship updates or their entire game at all now. What a nightmare. For Astragon, while Vast now still works on iOS and tvOS, we definitely want to restore full quality on these platforms so that we have parity between macOS and other future platform targets. Well, good news! Yesterday, Martin Eckler of Unity reached out to me directly to propose Astragon share a Unity-built iOS Xcode project of Vast to submit to Unity's engineers, who will review and then share and collaborate with Apple's engineers, too. We're coming for you, Titanium Moth. Your days are numbered. Apple is requiring all developers use Xcode 10 and ship for iOS and tvOS 12 by March this year, so this is about to become a much bigger problem if any Unity game developer wants to continue shipping on those platforms in mere weeks. Our hotfix with Vast is already prepared for the possibility that a solution to this bug doesn't come by the March deadline, so Vast can still be played now and beyond despite this. But hopefully, Astragon, Unity, and Apple will find a solution before the March deadline, and we can all enjoy full range memory capabilities and thus texture quality on iOS and tvOS devices, as we should now very soon. So there you have it. Unity and Apple's engineers both have their hands directly on VAS as an Xcode project and are digging into it to help them identify what might be causing Titanium Moth with iOS, tvOS, Xcode, and the Unity game engine itself for not only VAS, but all games affected by this bug worldwide. Once Martin proposed that we share our Xcode project and not our full Unity project, our full source, I became a lot more comfortable with the idea of doing this, of sharing this with them, and hopefully we're a lot closer to tackling this problem here. So far, Titanium Moth is a problem that has apparently stumped both Unity and Apple engineers for almost half a year now. So we are very happy we can now pitch in to fight the good fight with them directly and help get this done. Astragon will continue to provide direct assistance on this to Unity and Apple engineers any way we can now going forward. We would also encourage other iOS and tvOS developers to get in touch with Martin at Unity to submit your projects this way too. You can also follow the official Unity forums thread about this issue, which has the participation of many game developers and Unity employees, including Martin. A link is in the article version of this update on astragon.com and in the video description below. We will keep you posted on the progress right here on this Astragon YouTube video channel and on astragon.com. As always, like this video, click subscribe with the bell for notifications, share this far and wide, get your friends to subscribe, and if you or they haven't bought Vast already on iOS and tvOS, what are you waiting for? Titanium Moth can't stop us. Go get Vast right now. We are a sole proprietor indie studio publisher, and every sale means a lot to us. That's all for now. This is Xander at Astragon. Enjoy Vast, and I will see you next time.